environmental activists have been urging us for a century to curb our consumption or face disaster. But generation after generation only consumed more and more, and the disaster has arrived. In the last video, we learned that mass extinction is happening because we consume way too much land, which destroys natural habitats. The question is, how much less land do we need to be using to end the mass extinction? Buckminster Fuller described our world as Spaceship Earth, a vast, self-contained life support system. When NASA, America's space agency, got interested in building space colonies 60 years ago, Howard T. Odom, a leading ecologist, had some insights on designing natural life support systems in space. One of Odom's most stunning comments was that in closed environments, from terrariums to the entire planet, you get extinctions when any one species consumes more than 0.1 to 2% of the energy that plants convert from sunlight. Since plants require space to grow, we are basically talking about land use. That's a problem, because shrinking our global land use from the 50% we use today down to 2% means cutting our land use by 96%. Think about that for a moment. Could we as individuals make choices that cut our consumption by 96%? Could you stretch one day of your current consumption out to 25 days? There's no earthly way. Even acting collectively, consumer diets fall short. For example, the eco-village that I co-founded in 2007 was beautiful, but it came nowhere close to reducing our land use by 96%. Many of us have made significant lifestyle choices to help the environment. For example, we walk, bike, take public transit, and eat a plant-based diet. What do you do? Let us know in the comments. While personal choice is important, it's not enough to end the mass extinction. Even if we gave up all possessions except what we could easily carry and became hunter-gatherers, we still would need to shrink the world population by at least 91% to stay within the global carrying capacity. Think of the 11 people closest to you. Which one of them do you think should be allowed to live? Personal or even mass austerity is not the answer. Inconvenience and degrowth are really a one-way ticket to grim dilemmas. No wonder nothing has changed. Okay then, if doing less of what we already do won't work, is there anything that will? Yes, there is. We can redesign how we meet our needs so we heal the planet effortlessly as we go about our daily lives. Oh, and by the way, when we do this the correct way, our lives will be a lot more fun, prosperous, and healthy. In the next two videos, I'll explain how.